And now we come to chapter 16, the book of Revelation, chapter 16, and the bowls of wrath. We've really already went over these because as we went through the trumpets, I showed you that the bowls of wrath go along exactly with the trumpets. The trumpets are messages to the saints, to the church, just before the tribulation, after the first fruits rapture, as the latter day rain is poured out upon them, and as they enter into the tribulation and see this asteroid hit, that the first four trumpets are four pictures, four views, four descriptions of one asteroid hitting. The fifth and sixth trumpets are Satan being cast down from heaven, losing his place, coming to earth to rule and reign. And the seventh trumpet is the summing up of all things for the saints. The bulls of wrath go exactly along with those as we have seen, and we'll go over them quickly one more time, that the bulls of wrath are the end of the tribulation, the end of these things, the outcome of those that have rejected God, rejected the message his people are preaching in, in this great anointing and power across the earth. They've rejected it. In the end, results of those things is what comes upon them. And as we go in through this, we'll quickly cover, because we've already went through it, we'll quickly cover how the bowls of wrath and the trumpets are the same thing. One's messages to God's people, the trumpets, at the beginning of the tribulation. The bowls of the wrath are the outcome of those who reject God and his message at the end of the tribulation. Now let's start and go through these quickly because we've done it once. And the first trumpet and the first sounded, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and they were thrown to the earth, and a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. This is not the entire earth. This is the nation where that asteroid will hit right off the coast. The king of the beasts would have no way to come to power. Men would be ruined upon the earth. The earth would be beyond help if one third of the total earth had all this happen. This is to the nation. We're going to see later in Babylon what has happened. But this is one third of that nation. And as an asteroid comes down, there's hail and fire in front of it. Intense heat. That's what this is talking about. And as it hits the earth, one third of the earth is burned up, one third of the trees and all the green grass in that nation where that asteroid hits. And in the first bowl of wrath, and the first angel went and poured out his bowl into the earth, and it became loathsome and malignant sores upon the men who had the mark of the beast and who worshiped him. As this asteroid has had its, its effect upon the atmosphere, the ozone, all the stuff it kicked into the atmosphere, the nuclear waste and different things, the sulfur and acid that have been kicked up from it, by the end of the tribulation, it's causing these sores, these problems on men. And it's the, those that have the mark of the beast. By then, the church has already been taken. The second trumpet and the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the creatures were that were in the sea and had life died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. As this asteroid hits in what's actually going to be an ocean, they would have called it a sea back then, as this asteroid hits in this ocean, immediately one-third of that sea will be, that ocean will lose its life. The creatures will die, one-third. And one-third of the creatures will die. One-third of it will become blood, meaning, as we've seen before, it loses its life. It's the blood of a dead man. And one-third of the ships are destroyed as this asteroid hits immediately. So one-third of the ocean, one-third of the land, because this is hitting right on the coast, and one-third of that ocean. And now the second bowl, and the second angel poured out his bowl into the sea. Do you see that? Into the sea. And it became blood 
like that of a dead man. Now, by the end of the tribulation, that whole sea, that whole ocean, the creatures in it have died as the effects of the asteroid and the ocean currents can no longer go the way they should go. And the pollution and the damage and the heat and the destruction that's been done by the end of the tribulation, that whole ocean has lost its life. And in the third trumpet, and the third sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, another perfect picture of an asteroid. These three are just different views, different pictures of the same asteroid. And it fell on a third of the rivers on a, and on a third of the springs of water. Let's go to the third bowl. And the third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. It's saying in this nation, not the entire earth, nobody could be alive. It's saying in that nation where the asteroid hit, at first it affected a third of the ocean, but also a third of the fresh water supply where the debris of it fell over one third of that nation and one third of the water supply is damaged. By the end of the tribulation, all of the fresh water supply in that one third of that nation is ruined. And now let's go to the fourth trumpet. And the fourth angel sounded and a third of the sun and a third of the moon and a third of the stars were smitten so that a third of them might not might might be darkened and the day might not shine for a third of it and the night in the same this is as that debris is cast up into the atmosphere it's covering one third of that nation one third of that nation is blacked out from the cloud and the debris in it at the beginning of the tribulation what happens in the fourth bowl and the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun and it was given to it to scorch men with fire. By the end of the tribulation, what was just a cloud and blocking the sun and destroying the ozone and the atmosphere around it has now opened up the sky and the sun. And its sun, is you can see nowadays the sun, the effects it's having upon the earth and the global warming and everything. This will cause it to be on steroids. steroids. It will intensify greatly. And again, let's go to the fifth trumpet. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star from heaven which had fallen to earth, and to the key to the bottomless pit was given to him. We said that this is Satan being cast from heaven, falling to earth, and he has this key to release these spirits of darkness. And what do we have in the fifth bowl? And the fifth angel poured out his bowl upon the throne of the beast, and his kingdom became darkened. The devil had let out those spirits of darkness, and he is taking over the kingdom of the beast is being set up, and his kingdom became darkened. And they gnawed their tongues because of the pain. Remember that those evil spirits couldn't kill anybody. They could just torment people with their stingers, making them wish they were dead. Now we go to the sixth trumpet. And the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying, to the sixth angel who had the trumpet. Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. Remember we said these four angels were holding back that destruction from just covering the earth. God never let it cover more than a quarter at a time. But these four angels were holding back the four corners of this destruction, just covering the earth. Now they have been released. Now what they were holding back, that destruction, that coming of the Antichrist, that him coming and taking over the earth, those have been released. And in the sixth bowl, what happens? Remember, they were at the river Euphrates. And in the sixth bowl, and the sixth angel poured out his bowl upon the great river, the Euphrates, and its water was dried up that it might make way for the kings of the east. These rulers these people have been darkened by Satan. And now 
these angels have been released from the river Euphrates, and they're allowing these people to come, the kings of the earth. They've been darkened. They think they can do something. And in the seventh trumpet, and the seventh angel sounded, and there arose loud voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. Even though this is in the middle of this book, this is the end of those things, the end of the messages to the saints. The saints have had their message. They've had their time. This takes them down to the coming of Christ. This takes them down to where they rule and reign with him. And what is the seventh bowl? And the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air. And remember we read in Ephesians 2, 1 and 2, that those princes of darkness, those rulers in dark places, are the princes of the power of the air. That's what Paul called them. And here it says the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air. And a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne saying, it is done. This brings the bowls of wrath to a conclusion. The trumpets and the bowls of wrath are the same thing. The trumpets, messages to the saints as they prepare, get their message, come together, put on the full armor of God and prepare for war. The bowls of wrath are at the end of the tribulation, those who reject him, as the effects of that asteroid have now had an effect worldwide. And it's coming upon the kingdom of the beast as it spreads. And this is the end of the bowls of wrath where God will pour out his wrath upon them at the battle of Armageddon. So the trumpets and the bowls of wrath are the same thing. And as we saw in chapter 15, John saw and said, he saw a sign, and it concerned what? The bulls of wrath. And since the Jews were going into the bulls of wrath, as they turned to their Messiah, they would be slain. They are mentioned first. And then he goes on to the sign that is the bulls of wrath. 